I am super excited today to be able to present the awards for senior design here in the 2019-2020 school year. This is a great moment for um, the program, for senior design, and for all of you and your projects as we're finishing up for the year and uh, getting through completing everything we need to complete. So thanks for attending this Zoom and thanks for watching this if you watch it afterwards on the video. Um, first thing though, I do need to do a couple of logistical things before we can actually uh, move on to the awards. So hopefully I'll be quick with this. But we do have uh, a few things due yet for senior design, if you're not aware. The showcase presentations, the video and the presentation itself, needs to be done here in the next, uh, actually this day. Uh, they're due by midnight tonight. So turn in the video, turn in the presentation, get all of that done and uh, submit it by the end of the day. And let us know if you have any questions about that or concerns with it. Also, uh, we love feedback. Uh, we make considerable adjustments every year to senior design um, to improve it uh, for the year, uh, year over year. So uh, we have lots of feedback already, but um, there's a couple of opportunities for you to provide more feedback. The course evals, they're due tomorrow at uh, midnight, I believe in the uh, Canvas system. You can go in there and provide anonymous feedback to senior design and to the course itself. Also, I believe Christy sent out a link to a survey asking uh, for feedback on your projects and the sponsors. And that's uh, found here at the bottom of the uh, presentation. You can uh, provide feedback that way as well and give some insights or things to improve to uh, senior design. We take any feedback and we gladly uh, accept that and um, welcome it and you can submit it to us however you see fit, but we'd love to have your feedback. There is a other couple of uh, deliverables as well. Those are the uh, executive summary and the retrospective. Those are due in uh, Canvas assignments by May 4th and need to complete your project, of course, before the end of the semester on May 8th. If you have equipment still, you need to make sure to work with Kyle Conway to get that back to him as soon as possible. Um, contact him if you haven't already been in contact with him and be sure to get the equipment back to him. It can be um, pretty bad for your academic career. If you don't, you need to um, make sure that the equipment is returned appropriately and can work with him. He's very willing to adjust and uh, be accommodating for whatever your specific needs are. But please work with Kyle on getting the equipment back to him as soon as you can. We'll be dropping access to other things as well, like uh, GitHub and the virtual machines here um, towards the end of next week, at the end of finals week. So um, all that stuff needs to kind of be wrapped up and taken care of here before the end of the year as we transition the, the solutions back over to the sponsors. As part of the contract that we create with each of the sponsors, we have a um, contractual agreement to deliver the solution to them. And we do that, I think, before the end of, or before the middle of May, May 15th. So we start packaging up the GitHub repo, the GitHub wiki, the GitHub issues. All of those things are exported and combined with your box folders and put into an archive that we then ship to the sponsors with a nice letter officially completing the project. So you wanna make sure that everything is back in box instead of Google Drive or OneDrive or <clears throat> anywhere else that you might've had it. Get it back into box and make sure that's cleaned up and appropriate. And also make sure your GitHub is cleaned up and kind of finalized and ready for transition as well. So, um, and if your sponsor would like the repo transfer, the ownership of the repo transferred over to them, we can do that as well and work with Kyle Conway on getting that done. So those are the things that uh, we still have to get done and kind of finish up for the year to make sure our projects are done. We are gonna have a showcase, albeit this year uh, completely virtual or uh, online showcase. It will go up on Tuesday, May 5th, 
and uh, be on our regular senior design website location. I got the link in the uh, PowerPoint there. It'll have all of your project videos, have all of the award winners, uh, both the teams and the individual winners that I'll uh, announce today, as well as kind of the annual report and any other information kind of about senior design from this year. So it's a great way we can show off uh, what we've accomplished to the general public. And that's all gonna go up next Tuesday on the 5th of May. They're um, still doing Design Studio sh Showcase. It is a combination of live and online. So they'll have an event tomorrow afternoon if you're interested in that from 2 to 4.15. And you can go to that website that's listed there and check out their projects, their videos, and actually interact with some of the team members uh, live that afternoon, tomorrow afternoon. So check that out if you're interested. I always like to take this opportunity to thank everyone for their efforts and stuff in senior design. I truly appreciate all that you have done and helped with um, this year. All that you've accomplished is amazing. So thank you very much uh, to each and every one of you that has helped senior design. It's grown significantly in recent years and it certainly was the case again this year. Um, it's a equivalent to probably a 250 person operation um, just on its own. The impact is felt on a daily basis by hundreds of people and I'm always blown away by uh, it when I think about all that we have done here. So to the students specifically, thank you for all your time and hard work. Um, you've done a, an amazing job and we had some very challenging projects again this year and all of them have turned out great. We've made some great advances in senior design, we've expanded our spaces, we have did workshop classes, we've had a lot of changes to our processes and procedures and all of you have handled that very well. You've learned a lot hopefully and you've provided great feedback so we can continue to improve for next year. Also this time for the first time we've had second year software engineering students and they certainly have been the trailblazers throughout their time here at UNL and uh, here in senior design as well. And I can't say how much uh, they have helped us in developing that program for many years to come. Special thanks also to Christy, Kyle, Melanie, and Bill. Um, all of you have been critical in the success of senior design this year. You're really getting your feet under you and you've made great strides towards um, moving this, this program forward. So appreciate all of you have done and um, accomplished. Look at how far you've come over the year, over a couple of years and all you've learned and, and accomplished. You've truly done a great job. Also, thanks to all of our tribe leads, Brady, Chris, Jeff, Shruti. You have handled more teams than you probably should have. You've tried out several different multiple team um, combinations and models. Uh, we've re completely restructured behaviors and, and grading in general. So all of that has been uh, new and different and challenging for the tribe leads, and I appreciate all you've done there. It's uh, certainly been amazing work. We've had the largest number of projects this year, 26 projects with 30 uh, teams essentially, the largest number of students, over 165 students in total, just a huge variety of <clears throat> technologies, projects, sponsors, everything. So thanks for making senior design what it is and as impressive as it is. You've truly accomplished some amazing things and you should be proud of all the work that uh, you have done this year. I want to talk a little bit about some of those amazing accomplishments. Um, for the first year that I remember for senior design especially, we've had a app in the App Store prior to the end of the school year and live uh, in the App Store prior to the end of the school year. So congratulations to UNMC's College of Public Health. Uh, their Healthy Eating app was the earliest that we've seen a senior design team go live in the App Store and the Google Play Store. But closely followed right after them, Baldorf also has gone live in the uh, App Store and uh, just a, a week or so ago. So congratulations to both of these teams making it into live uh, 
stores and uh, available for actual customers to use. So that's great. We have lots of them that are in beta, Buckle, Nebraska Family Dentistry, Painless Prep. I'm sure there's several others that are mobile ones that are in beta. We've had several that are live and in production with their various sponsors as well, Nebraska Environmental Trust, regular fill brands. Um, <clears throat> the Invasive Species Project has been live and being used in the field, uh, as is the uh, Wetland Delineation Project for the USDA. Those are huge accomplishments. To be able to say that you're live with your project prior to the end of this school year is just, it's amazing. Uh, we've had some that have had some news already. Um, the uh, Habit VR project has been in the university news over the last couple of weeks showing off their project. It's just uh, amazing what we've accomplished. And I'm sure that I've missed um, several more accomplishments that probably should be mentioned here and recognized. And um, I apologize that I didn't get them, but everybody has done an, an outstanding job. So what an amazing year in senior design. So now we can get on to the actual awards, the team awards. We'll start with the team awards. These are the awards that go to uh, project teams as a whole. And um, here's a couple of pictures actually from last year's uh, winners. On the left, we have the Madonna Rehabilitation um, Project team in full there at Showcase last year, <clears throat> showing off their project. They have done a great job and uh, we're the platinum team last year. And then the gold team last year was the wet code project with a few of their team members there on the right hand side picture. Um, as usual, it is a very difficult uh, decisions to be made in terms of um, figuring out which projects would be gold and platinum. Everybody's had a huge project and just talked about some of the major accomplishments that we've done this year. Um, it seems impossible just to choose uh, one or two. Most of these projects could have been gold or platinum and um, certainly have a lot of people that deserve to be rock stars. So, but we did have to make decisions and actually narrow it down. On the team awards, there are two that we recognize. We will recognize two teams. Um, at the top there, we have a runner up team, which is the gold project, and then a winning uh, team platinum project for the highest performing or best team in uh, senior design this year in terms of the, the solution that they've created, the feedback that they've gotten, um, the overall team um, dynamics and team, team progress that they've had. So we found about half of our teams that were nominated for these awards for a gold or platinum award. Uh, we have 14 teams here nominated. It's the top half of our teams, essentially. We've had about 28 teams in total. So congratulations to all of these teams that were nominated for the uh, Platinum and um, Gold Team Awards. Uh, we took then this one more level further um, and kind of determined the best of these, um, these teams. So we narrowed that down to what we'll call our honorable mentions. The honorable mention teams are these um, seven teams. They are GC Image, Hoffman Strategy Group, Mystic Roads Productions, Nebraska Environmental Trust, The Bay, UNL's Department of Agronomy and Horticulture, and UNMC's um, Monroe Meyer Institute. These seven teams are the, um, are the honorable mentions for this year. And two of these teams are the gold and platinum ones. So we took this list and had to narrow it down even further. And after much discussion and several rounds of voting, we come up with the winners. And I will start with the gold uh, winner, so the runner up team. All right, so I've generalized this somewhat and I'm going to talk about the team a little bit. The team developed a high quality cohesive virtual reality game that is rich in look and feel and functionality. It is well designed and developed. 
the sponsor has tested the game with some of its clients, and the only problem was the challenge of getting them to stop the session because, it were, because they were enjoying it so much. It will be deployed as a live application. The solution works extremely well and looks nice. And the team has been fully engaged with the sponsor who is very pleased with the product. So if I can get a drum roll, please. Did you guys hear that? I actually have my son doing yep. drum rolls for me today. So that's the nice thing about being at home. I have a drum set right here and he can do drum rolls. So I'll have him do it again, a little bit louder. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Congratulations to UNMC's Monroe Meyer Institute. The Habit VR project is our gold project for this year. So I will give um, Melanie an opportunity to say a few words on behalf of the team as she is representing their project manager this year. Great, thanks Jeremy. Um, yeah, the team did really well. You can see the list of team members, Ethan Penn, Ryan Soto, Grant Bosley, Kyle Hadwiger, James Murray, Chase Pearson, Jaron Robke, Demetrius Sagoa, Jared Savota, and Brock Williams. You guys all did a fantastic job. Um, for those of you who don't know much about their product, they are a, um, they developed a virtual reality game and HABIT stands for Hand Arm by Manual Intensive Therapy. And it's for um, kids with cerebral palsy. So typically these kids um, have a, a strong arm and a weak arm and this game has them exercising and using both hands and arms you know, making their dexterity and strength um, stronger. They've been a special team from the start. Um, they had releasable code, prototype, and a really large, large storyline for their game in release one. Their game is gonna be used by MMI, UNMC MMI, and it will be going live. It's an incredibly creative game and really professional looking, immersive virtual reality experience. And it's randomized, so there's so users won't get bored with it. And it has a villain named Doctor Sphinx. You can't beat that. Uh, along with audio narrative, that makes it awesome. Um, the only problem the sponsor had when testing their game with in therapy with the kids was that they didn't want to stop using it or take turns. In addition to the um, the product, this team consistently delivered their their class and project administrative deliverables on time in a really quality manner. The team was written up in bits and bytes in an article, and there will be an article in the Daily Nebraskan coming soon. I'm really, really proud of them. Congratulations, guys. I know you guys are gonna be successful in where, whatever you do, going into the workplace, grad school, or into your second year of senior design. Congratulations. Yes, congratulations indeed. Awesome job. Have it VR, your project was an amazing project and uh, very deserving of an award. So I will move on then now to, once I get clicked right, to the Platinum Project, our best project this year. So this team came out of the gates swinging and never let up. At the kickoff meeting, they had artwork. It was a complete team effort from the kickoff meeting through R6. It was clear from the beginning that the team was excited to work on this project. They worked extremely well with the sponsor, eliciting requirements and managing expectations when needed. They followed solid agile practices. Meetings always ran smoothly. They negotiated with the sponsor on additional requirements like they had been doing this for years. They only missed one metric in four releases and they didn't miss a single status report all year. They are the textbook definition of a team. This was an extremely difficult project and they have it now live in the App Store, in the Apple App Store. So clearly the platinum winning team. Congratulations to Mystic Roads Productions and their Baldoff app. 
I will turn it over to Bill Browning, and he is going to say a few words on behalf of Mystic Roads Productions team. It's my honor to talk about um, the Platinum Award winning team for Mystic Roads um, and the Boldorf team. Um, Jeremy mentioned a lot of the things I, would, I was going to, to talk about. Uh, you know, from the start, you guys were hands on, um, excited about this project, and it was infectious to your sponsor and, and to those that are around you. Uh, Mystic Roads Production is a nonprofit here in Lincoln. Um, so this app is going to go a long way to help them um, do good in the community. Um, the app is aimed for children. Um, the sponsor, Adam Rhodes, goes to uh, Lincoln Public Schools, the elementary schools, uh, with the physical version of this game and plays it in their gym classes. Um, so now he'll have an opportunity to show this not on the iOS, but they're on the Google Play Store. Um, there's a computer desktop version of the game, as well as uh, a virtual reality portion that uh, may need a little flushing out, but is pretty close to being done as well. Um, you know, there's not a whole lot more I can say. You guys uh, made coming to those sponsor meetings easy for me. It was great watching you guys learn. Um, it, it, it did look like you had been doing this for years. So congratulations um, and good luck in the rest of your careers. Yes, congratulations to Baldorf. It's very exciting. This is an amazing looking app and uh, uh, an amazing piece of functionality for kids to play with and hopefully very beneficial to their nonprofit's um, sponsor, Mystic Roads. So congratulations again to um, Baldorf and uh, the Baldorf app and Mystic Roads Productions. And I realized too, I forgot to do the drum roll on this one. So sorry about that. This is even more, I mean, we'll have to keep, uh, keep doing it on these next ones. All right. Yes, congratulations to those teams. Truly outstanding jobs. Now we're gonna move on to the individual award winners. And uh, here's some pictures from a few of last year's. We had five um, rock stars last year. These are three of them. We have uh, from left to right, Mickey Tran, who was on the Nebraska Department of Transportation project last year. Uh, Brandon Huebner uh, was on Nebraska's State Museum project. And Brooke Lampy was on uh, the Company Cam project last year. All uh, excellent rock stars from last year. So we had to figure out who was gonna be our rock stars this year. And again, it's a difficult decision to make. We had a lot of projects and huge impacts and everybody um, probably could be deserving of a rock star award. There's certainly a ton of, of great students this year uh, across uh, all of our projects. <clears throat> so that being said though, we didn't have to make the decisions like I mentioned. The rock star award is an individual recognition for outstanding work leading and contributing to the overall final product and growth of their uh, team members. So um, this is someone who is um, an absolute essential on a project team. They couldn't have done it without this person and um, this person makes everybody around them uh, a better person and a better teammate. So we would, as a little note here, like to get pictures of the winners. So a photo that we can use then on um, the Senior Design Showcase site for when that goes up. You uh, don't have to send one if you don't want to, if you are a winner, though we'd appreciate a professional photo and you can send that to Melanie Google right? Um, Jeremy. When you get a chance, if you have anything. Also, the honorable mentions. Everybody who's an honorable mention, please send your picture. Thanks. Okay, good. Yeah. So, um, if you are a rock star or an honorable mention, please send uh, a professional photo to uh, Melanie, and she will get that as part of the uh, process to put that up on the website for our showcase and uh, show you off. So, like I mentioned, we had lots of great students this year. Starting with the nominations, so here are the, the nominees for rock stars this year. We have, I think, 24 students uh, nominated. All of them are great students, um, certainly deserving of nominations. This is a very small percentage of our overall student body. Um, so already just to be nominated is an amazing uh, feat 
and um, certainly all of these students are well deserving of the nominations uh, for being a rock star. So good job, all of these students. I am not gonna read them off. But we did take them then one level further and um, move them into honorable mentions. So we have 19 individuals that we have given an honorable mention to, um, nine of which in this year will be given a rock star award. So nine of these 19 will be rock stars. So we have Ethan, Robin, Ethan, Youssef, Jacob, Maggie, Brendan, Brooke, Vu, Philip, Ethan, Adrian, Adam, Reed, Joseph, Jared, Peyton, Logan, and Brock as our honorable mentions this year. And I have their project um, sponsors listed there as well. So we needed to narrow this down obviously, to the uh, final award winners. We did expand the rock stars this year from five last year to nine this year. Uh, that made it a little bit easier, but still, it was the difficult choices to make in terms of which students actually got the, the rock star awards. So after some rounds of um, voting, here are the rock stars for this year. So again, I generalize the description here and then um, we can announce who the, the rock stars are. Okay, so winners are. This winner is the squad lead for an outstanding team. They worked very hard to make sure everything was getting done at the highest level. Even going back into the code that they inherited from a previous year's team to make sure to add tests to that as well. They have put in place all the processes needed to make the team the best they could be and to make the project successful. The team always delivered what was promised and provided con constant communication and transparency. So drum roll, please. Congratulations, Ethan Butte from the Nebraska Environmental Trust Project. He was the squad lead and development manager for this team and has done an outstanding job. Congratulations, Ethan. The next winner, this winner was a developer on their project team. They overcame the biggest challenge the team had development wise, where the solution needed to get an accurate reading of pain size. So they were completely responsible for getting that accuracy to meet the sponsor's expectations. So drum roll please. <laughs> Youssef Fathy from Painless Prep is our second rock star winner for this year. Congratulations to Youssef. Very deserving of the award. He was, as I mentioned, a developer on the Painless Prep project. Next, uh, this winner has done an outstanding job as the product manager for their project. They are in constant communication with their sponsor, always proactively managing the scope of the project, even setting up individual meetings with the product with the sponsor's product owner to clarify and set or reset expectations. This winner also manages meetings and works with all the team to be sure everything is heading in the right direction. The team has always delivered what was promised. Drum roll. Congratulations in, to Maggie Harder from the Nebraska Environmental Trust Project. As I mentioned, she was the project uh, product manager for this project and did a great job uh, working with the sponsor and keeping um, the project moving forward. Congratulations, Maggie. Next, this winner was the development manager on their project. 
but was willing and able to take additional roles and responsibilities as needed. They were an integral part in getting the team up to speed in the technologies used on the project. The team wouldn't have been successful without them. They were also the tech lead for mobility, uh, mobile applications, and helped other teams to be successful. This led to Senior Design having the most successful app development portfolio to date. So can, drum roll, please. Congratulations to Brandon Hertner. Hutner. Um, he was on the Nebraska Family Dentistry Project, as again, I mentioned, as the development manager for that team. So congratulations to Brandon. He is also a repeat rock star winner, as you saw his image as one of the three that I had shown from last year. Um, so that is outstanding. Two years uh, as a rock star in uh, senior design. Pretty amazing. All right. This winner is consistently consistent. They are a quiet leader with enough authority where a team full of developers will listen whenever they talk. They led a dual team project using the sub-team model, which is a very challenging multi-team model when it comes to team coordination, communication, and bridging the gap between the work of the two teams. This winner has done an excellent job in spite of all of these challenges. They worked very well with, with their new role um, of multi-team squad lead and product manager in conjunction with their sub-team squad lead to deliver a highly successful project for their sponsor. Drum roll, please. Congratulations to Brooke Lampy from Hoffman Strategy Group's project, Real Estate Analytics. As I mentioned, she was the multi-team squad lead and pro product manager this year. That's a new role for second year software engineering students. And she did a great job filling that role um, this year. And, to, and her, too, like Brandon, is a repeat rock star. She was a rock star last year, um, also one of the images I used. She was a rock star last year in senior design and uh, has done an amazing job again this year. So certainly deserving of the accolades, um, a two-time software, or two-time rock star in, uh, in uh, senior design. So congratulations to Brooke. All right, next winner. This winner was a key developer of their project team. They have had always been and continues to be dedicated to delivering high quality work during the whole process. They are a team member that has worked the hardest on this project. Their contributions are many and include a stable and streamless workflow that can be used to process images, testing and maintenance of the workflow and its related documentation. Also, they, have always, they were always ready to help other team members to solve problems in order to maintain team's efficiency. They are creative. Many times they have novel ideas that, relate, that related to the sponsor's requirements and improve the overall quality of their product. They have also achieved the most consistent improvement on the team. Being a really great listener, they are willing to take, to take teammates' suggestions and give feedback on them, which is really important for the communication of the team. Drum roll, please. Congratulations to Philip Wynn on the Holland, Community, Holland Computing Center um, plant uh, phenoming project, phenotyping project. Great job, Philip, as a developer on the team. He has improved immensely and consistently helped the rest of the team be successful. So, congratulations to Philip. All right, anybody keeping track of how many I've said so far? Okay, um, this winner's vision for their solution, for, this, for their uh, solution application had been the main driving force for the team's fast start 
and an impressive overall performance this year. The team had releasable code and multiple prototype demos in release one. There were, this, uh, this winner is technically exceptional and yet has the capacity for leadership. For those of us who have seen them perform in the last two years, it is clear that they have matured a great deal. We strongly believe that they deserve this Rockstar Award. Drum roll, please. Congratulations to Ethan Penn on UNMC's MMI uh, Habit VR project. Ethan was the multi-team squad lead and product manager as a new second year in senior design this year. He took on that new role and certainly excelled in it. So great job, Ethan. Congratulations on your uh, rock, rock star award. All right, this winner had a fairly unique and uh, kind of a new role within senior design this year. The role of squad lead and product manager of a sub team on a multi-team project. They work very well in this leadership role in conjunction with their multi-team squad lead and product manager to deliver a highly successful project uh, for their sponsor. So drum roll please. Congratulations to Adrian uh, Pinkleton on the Hoffmore, Hoffman Strategy Group, uh, Real Estate Analytics. He played this role uh, as we developed the sub-team model. He played the role of the squad lead on the internal or sub-team um, portion and was the product manager for that sub-team, working with uh, Brooke Lampy as the multi-team squad lead for that project. So congratulations to Adrian, picking up this new role and excelling in it. You did an outstanding job. Congratulations on your Rockstar Award. All right, one more, I believe. This winner was a developer on their team and worked hard and was instrumental in developing the physics of the ball bounce needed for their game to work. So you can probably guess which project this was. Drum roll, please. Congratulations to Joseph Stroff on the Mystic Roads Productions Baldorf app project. You've done an outstanding job uh, working through the physics and uh, overcoming the challenges needed to make that project successful and what it is today. Obviously, as that is the Platinum project uh, this year, you're uh, key and instrumental in the success of that project. So congratulations, Joseph, on your Rockstar Award. Congratulations to all of the Rockstar winners indeed. Um, you have done an outstanding job this year. There was many different roles to be played um, as we expanded senior design this year to include second year software engineering students. So we had opportunities for people to try out and uh, give feedback for these new roles. Uh, these multi-team projects were challenging and um, had uh, a lot of work uh, to make them work appropriately. So we appreciate all your feedback on those things. Just congratulations to everyone uh, this year. And be sure to, if you were an honorable mention or a uh, rock star winner, to uh, send a professional photo to Melanie um, so she can add that to the showcase website in preparation for our showcase on um, next Tuesday. Great job, everyone. So remember, showcase is on May 5th. Um, thanks again to everyone involved in senior design. We truly appreciate all of the hard work you've put in this year. Um, hopefully you enjoy the showcase in this uh, unique um, year in trying to uh, um, do it virtually. But hopefully you enjoy the showcase. Hopefully all your finals go well as you work into those next year. And congratulations to all those that are graduating this year. I know there is a large number of our students that are graduating. So uh, congratulations to you as well. 
all have a well, well done. So thank you very much. Congratulations, everyone. And uh, enjoy the showcase.